after Dak Prescott had surgery, Jerry Jones saying they are not going to put him on IR. Which would knock him out at least the next four games. That's the worst thing he could do is to rush back from something like this. You think in four weeks he's going to come to save the day? If they're being honest with themselves, they don't have a Super Bowl winning roster. He's not four weeks away from playing quarterback in the NFL. I don't give a damn about optimism. So here's the thing, guys. Keyshawn J. Willemax, ESPN Radio. Go to the ESPN app if you're, you want to take us with you. Click more on the lower right-hand corner. Scroll down to live radio, and you can hear us on the app live. We're presented by Progressive Insurance. So, guys, the, the Cowboys are now 0-1 with Dak, 2-0 with Cooper Rush. Let me continue with this line of thought because the other day, Jerry Jones, the owner, Got Jerry Jones, yeah, man. Yeah, Jerry man. Jones, the GM, in trouble. And Jerry Jones himself mentioned that after the fact when it was a whole controversy. And he said, well, Jerry Jones, the owner, should sometimes shut up and get, you know, cause a problem for Jerry Jones, the GM. But he said, look, I'd love a quarterback controversy because that means we're winning. But in the, the implication of what he said was, if we continue to win, there will be a quarterback controversy, even when Dak is healthy. Now, Key, we were talking a couple days ago, maybe yesterday, about – the fact that, like, Kurt Warner, or maybe this was on Friday, Kurt Warner. Yeah, it was Friday. That's when you got attacked by Kurt Warner. <laughs> well, no, there was someone else. But, no, Kurt and me are all good. What I, the, someone misrepresented my point to Did he respond back to, to your tweet? He did. Kurt, what did he say? It's all good. I don't, I, you know, I don't have thin skin. But someone misrepresented what I was saying. <clears throat> he, someone said that I said that Dak was better than Kurt Warner, which is ridiculous. I did not say that. What I said was. Kurt Warner got his job by injury, right? Trent Green. Yeah. But he also lost it to injury. He was the, considered yeah. the number one guy in football. Mark Bolger took it. Only because, not because Mark Bolger was so great. He was good. But they went 8-0. and oh. So, yeah. of course, they're going to stay with a hot and hand. Kurt, and Kurt was at the end of his deal. That's true, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if it can happen to Kurt Warner, I said at the time it could happen to Dak Prescott. Absolutely. Key, the way you framed it yes. was, look, the way it happens is maybe Dak could come back but we're 4-0, and we're 5-0. and You know what? Take an extra week, let it heal up. If Cooper Rush continues to win games, how does that affect, affect Dak's timetable? Here's Lisa Salters on Monday Night Football last night talking about Dak Prescott's return. Listen. He said it feels great. He was going to go talk to the doctor right after and hopefully get the green light to start ripping and throwing the football again. And when I asked him when he's thinking he might be back, he said a couple of weeks, and I'm counting this as one of them. Those were his words. So I asked him, next week, you think you might be ready to play against Washington next week? And he said he isn't ruling anything out. So, Key, let's say he can't play against Washington and Cooper Rush wins his third straight game. That's fine. That, that means we got a good backup. We have a solid quarterback room. They're not going to say, Dak, take it easy. Take another week. No, I mean, look, it, it depends on where he's at. He's getting healthy because Cooper Rush is playing well. So he's, it helps you. The medicine uh, takes effect. It Whatever. Takes, it, that, yeah. That's the, the medicine is Cooper Rush. It is, he's getting better. All of a sudden, it doesn't hurt as much. Can you explain that? And, and Jay, you too, because you've experienced this. People listening out there think, wait a minute. If the dude is motivated as can be, why does the pres- why does the presence of competition make it motivate him even more? Why does he need that? It's not it's not necessarily a motivation that he needs. It's just I'm watching somebody drive my car and I know I could drive it better and it just motivates you to a degree to for whatever reason get ready to get back out there instead of being in the training room an hour, you may be in the training room two and a half hours now. All of a sudden, you know, you're lifting weights. He's not going to lose his job. And the reason he's not going to lose his job is because there's probably $120 million left on his deal, guaranteed money or something like that. It wasn't the case for Kurt Warner. It wasn't you, the, case, it wasn't just the case for Kurt Warner. It wasn't the case for um, somebody else that I'm thinking, oh, Drew Bledsoe. You know, guys like that, like we only know about Tom Brady because of Drew Bledsoe, actually because of Mo Lewis. Mo Lewis hit Drew Bledsoe and cracked whatever his sternum or whatever it was, and all of a sudden Tom Brady was born. There was no Tom Brady. We wasn't even, the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick were not even thinking about Tom six Brady. Six round pick. It's like, man, we're gonna draft a guy this year anyway. But we have to have a guy who can play. And then all of a sudden, 
Mm-hmm. And then a little more. But Drew Bledsoe wasn't on $150 million uh, uh, guaranteed money. So it's a little bit different. Cooper Rush is a nice player for them. And he could be a starter, it seems like, in the league based on what we're seeing. Small sample size. I mean, but I, I will say, look, there's a difference between somebody keeping your boat afloat as somebody being the motor for your boat, right? Like, the defense needs to play at a different level. Cooper Rush needs to make a play here or there, right? But if the defense is not at a different level, <laughs> Dak is the one guy that can elevate the offense and carry the offense. We saw we saw him do it before he got hurt, yeah, right? Their he defense lost game wasn't great. <laughs> what? Lo- they were 0 1. I'm talking about a couple years ago before he got hurt, right? Yep. He was literally carrying you know, the team. I, I, he, was, he was. He was carrying the team. Know, he was, but he yeah. was, but yeah. He, he, yeah. He, look, okay. Like they were. That's eight not eight. The, because, you know, like Jay <laughs> said, I'm, I'm over here. I was smiling. When Jay was talking about Cooper Rush, small sample size, and Dak can make some more plays and things of that nature, and I and I had to crack a smile because isn't it amazing that a guy like Cooper Rush is three and zero, and it's a small sample size? But what if you'd have drafted him in the first round and he was three and zero? Is was he was an elite quarterback? <laughs> oh, it just, it so it was, so much it, more hype it's around a, it. It's a it, it right. I mean, it's so weird how that works. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence, I'm willing to immediately think, is he elite already? But if it's Jalen Hurts, I need to see it for it's, a year it's, and a half. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. And I'm watching Cooper Rush deliver the football in sync and, ni- and nice, too. Know what else it does? Really nice. Know what else it demonstrates, maybe? And Bill Parcells guy. The Parcellian kind of way of thinking, which is like, don't do too much sometimes. Well, that's what Jay just said. He Solid need to and do sound. That. That's what Jay said. But maybe that's better than being the quote-unquote motor sometimes. I've been sometimes. trying to tell you that for 100 years. You don't listen. Yeah, Max, you don't listen. And, and <laughs> the thing but, is, is you get so enamored with somebody that you think that you have to utilize at a certain rate throwing the ball all over the lot. You're not going to win that way. But... What happens is people want that guy just in case. They want that guy. He, just they want to know that, he can do it. They want to know that he can do it. Maybe that's what Steve Young was talking about for Dak to watch Cooper Rush go through his progressions by taking sometimes the easy play. Don't go for the home run. Just make the easy play consistently. You know why Tom Brady's the goat? Because if you need him to, he can do it. Well, but he's not, look, that, he's not trying, he's not trying I, to do it. it, it, it I said Can't that, thread the needle all the time. You know, the Tom Brady people out there, obviously, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. He has seven championships. Blah, blah, blah. That's why he has seven championships. Takes if what you, the if you really watch football yeah. and you really watch it, Brady isn't out there throwing the ball 65 times a game. You look at the last Super Bowl he won. Brady was pedestrian. I dare you say pedestrian with Tom Brady. He was pedestrian. But when man. they lost the Super Bowl, he threw for 500 yards. So in other words, but so he, it's there if you need it. He can do it, but he's not looking man, to do pedestrian it. Pedestrian as hell in the last Super Bowl he won with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, mm-hmm. and he still threw for three touchdowns. He had barely 200 yards. So this begs, this begs the question, or it leads to the question: How high will Key have Tua Tungavailoa and the Dolphins in his rankings of the best team in the NFL? Why are you looking at me? Well, I 